Okay, this is January 8th, so it's exactly two weeks later from the last one. So I'll let you take a peek at how things are doing inside of my uh, little greenhouse here. Now these are all the lettuces that uh, I had just recently put in to the riverbed system. Uh, some of these are brand new. Some of them I've just transplanted in. I took the tomato seedlings out. Um, these were just put in uh, about four days ago. And you see I've already got root systems starting. But the interesting thing is the ones that have been in here for a little while. Get a load of that root mass. I can't even get the container out of here without having to really fight to get that out. Uh, and then I've got this one here. Now see these are roughly oh, about three weeks old. And see, same thing. The root mass is just so huge. And I trimmed back the strawberries quite a lot just to a couple of leaves down okay this is my little poor man's system uh, basically it's run off of the air pump on a timer and when the timer kicks in then it pumps all the water out of the bottle sends it to these two and this grow bed here and uh, that was for a windowsill aquaponic system set up the same way and I just brought it out here my dad was having fits. No plants in the house. Uh, those are my little uh, uh, pitcher plants that are taking care of the ants. I had some uh, ants in here. And let's take care of that. These are um, just uh, uh, propagation beds. I've got another one here that's got some fresh stuff in it. Uh, of course, this is my ugly little fish tank. <laughs> now, these are the buckets that have the crawdads. And this first one, the red ruby leaf lettuce, is not doing really well. Uh, I'm going to put some more in there. Now, first of all, this bucket didn't have anything in it. Now, I have goldfish in here now, and I'm getting ready to move the, the third and last of my uh, self-cloning crawdads into here. This one's with the broadleaf batavon. Again, I still don't know what it is, but hey, it's worth a try. Uh, looks like it's some kind of a lettuce. And that one really sprouted well. I've actually taken some transplants out of here and put them in other places. Um, this one was the prize head uh, lettuce. Uh, it's supposed to be a leaf lettuce. And I only had well, four of them come up. Um, I'm going to be replanting that. But again, these did not have anything in here but the crawdads until yesterday. So that should change, I hope. Okay, over here... You can see how these lettuces are really starting to take off. Oh, remember everything was kind of yellow. Now it's all starting to green up already, too. And I just put the fish, more fish into the system just a couple of days ago. These are nice and green. That one's doing really well. And I've been picking cucumbers. There's a big one. There's a big one. They're supposed to be red when they're ripe. Now, this one here that we had that big cucumber off of, and it's got another little one here, um, is supposed to be the same variety, but it was just a normal green pickling cucumber so who knows anyway you can see I got just got tons and tons and tons of uh, red onions here and I have just been transplanting them all over the place um, looks like more of the carrots came up than the uh, celery but I've got some broadleaf stuff coming up here so I may have celery coming up in here after all uh, this is a that little teeny tiny seedling was only about yay big that's got getting big this one just came up a few days ago this one came up right after I did the video the last time you can see how nice and big my strawberries are getting my strawberries hello my cherries this one is a stupus snow snow mato. doesn't matter because they're in here uh, we've had some good solid frost so if they weren't in here they'd have been dead anyway um, lots of little tomatoes on these two these are the glacier snow mados. Um, these two had lettuces in them, and um, I've already harvested those, and I've transplanted some more of the leaf lettuce, and this is all romaine, and you can see I even threw some uh, onion in here too, so I got the romaine and the onion. This is the romaine tub here. Uh, this is one of the little tomato seedlings that was in the riverbed system. Like I said, I moved them because I didn't like, I didn't think they were quite doing as well in there. And then... This is another tub that's got, uh, this is interesting, this is a water chestnut 
Um, I ordered four, but I guess the bottom of the system is too wet. Only one of them survived. Um, and there's some more lettuce that's in here. So this is this system only two weeks later. And I'm just absolutely tickled pink with how it's doing. Uh, I hope you guys have fun. Have a great time playing with your own systems.